Hello everyone, today I'm making a chicken and tomato pasta. First things first, I'm going to add my chicken. This is about 500 grams of chicken breast, cut up into pieces. And in here is also a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to add some chopped garlic and chili. While that's going, I'm going to cook. I'm going to cook a half a packet of al macaroni in some salted water on the other side of the kitchen. A bit more than all, but I'll keep this for another dish. Let over. Okay, I'm going to salt it. A little bit of salt to taste. Black pepper. Some black pepper. I'll add more later. And now I've got I've got a can of tomato and onion mix. And I've got a can of chopped and peeled with mixed herbs. So I think I'm going to add that. Also have some tomato puree. Okay, let me just stir this a bit more. So I don't want really a color. I like to brown brown my chicken. Because I want it still to be succulent. There's going to be still a lot of cooking happening. I don't want it to be overcooked. Okay. I'm going to cook with the tomato sauce and everything. Okay. Still pink. A few bits there. Let's go for a little bit. So... Pasta's cooking. I also got some cheddar cheese. Now you can totally make a white sauce. Just look at my videos. There will be pasta recipes with white sauces, and you can use any of those white sauce recipes and add it at the end. You can bake it off. But I'm just making chicken pasta and a drizzle of cheese. Whole cake. No long story. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to add chopped and peeled. You can use fresh tomato, tomato puree, tomato paste. Okay. Two cans. And then some tomato puree. 240 grams. Gonna be liquor tomati. Here we go. Put water in here. So it's quite simple. You can add red chili. Um, there is herbs in this canned tomatoes. So I'm not gonna add any parsley. Not that I have in the fridge. <laughs> So this is not a recipe request video. This is just simply me making something quick 
for supper or for lunch for the crew here. And now this is need some sugar. Sugar to taste. Okay. And this will now cook for about 10 minutes. Add the pasta and then literally it will be done. Okay, I just needed to come to a braise stage. And we'll be right back. I think I'm going to add a little bit of my chicken braise spice. Just so we'll be cheap. Just to now let it bubble away on a medium heat. I just have to taste the pitchy to see if it needs anything else. And the reason why I don't add a lot of pasta because you don't want to dilute the, the flavors too much. Mmm, pretty nice. So there's lots of tomato in here, people. And lots of tomato means quite acidic. acidic. It's got that. Mm. So you can balance it out with a little sugar, okay? Okay, guys, it's in a slow, slow heat now, waiting for the pasta to join. It's delicious, lush redness. Did I just say that? <laughs> I'm definitely going to share from this food and dish up with the crew here and then whatever is left they can take home with it. There we go. Now I'm going to add next the pasta. Okay, so I've added my albe macaroni. Give it a stir. Oh, liquor man. Now I'm going to cover it completely with some cheddar cheese, sprinkle some dried parsley, black pepper, put the lid on and let it go for a few minutes. So everything, all the flavors have infused into the pasta. Okay. So if you don't have an oven, this is a nice dish to make for you. Okay. Like I said, I don't have the fresh. More black pepper. And I'm going to close it with a lid. Let it go for five to eight minutes. And then I'm going to open up. Whoopee! Okay, guys, so I've turned off the heat. And let's see what's happening here. Looky, looky, man. that yummy in my tummy ready to be dished up on this cold winter's day and there we go look at that anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video I'll be back again with another video soon And make this dish for the family. It's delicious. It's easy. It's an economical, no long story. And it's how cake. How cake costs. <laughs> Anyways, bye everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Press the, that, that thing on the, the thumbs up, right, for the video. Uh, all my Facebook followers, share, like, comment. And, um... I'm trying to get through all the recipe requests um, as best as I can. And next, I think I'm going to make a nice lamb acne. Yeah, that is on the list. So, um, 
I just want to say thank you for everyone for all the support and love. I appreciate it. And all my, my loyal followers. And um, I'll be back again. Bye, everyone. Love you guys. Bye.